It's official, Marvel Studios is in trouble. When mainstream media starts dropping an expose on your franchise, that's how you really know you are in deep trouble. The MCU needs help, it is now undeniable. Variety, one of the major trades in all things Hollywood, dropped an expose on the MCU title, Crisis at Marvel, Jonathan Major's backup plans, the Marvel's reshoots, reviving original Avengers, and more issues revealed. So, why is this important? Well, major trades like Variety, Deadline, and The Hollywood Reporter have an amicable working relationship with the studios, especially Disney. So, it is very uncommon for them dropping a negative bomb like this one on them. This proves that Disney is losing its grasp on the news outlets. But without further ado, these are the things that we learned on the MCU expose. Jonathan Major's legal trouble is a pain in the ass for Marvel. Marvel is truly fucked with the whole Kang angle, say one top deal maker for the studio, and they haven't had an opportunity to correct the saga because of the writer's strike. At a studio gathering in Palm Springs, executives discuss backup plans including pivoting to another comic book adversary like Dr. Doom. But making any shift will carry its own headaches. Major was already a big presence in the MCU, including Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, Lock in Season 2, particularly in the finale, which sets up Kang as a titular star of the fourth Avengers film, which is expected to drop in 2026. Based on his current legal troubles, the insider says, I don't see any path how can they move forward with him. What about Blade? Actor Mahershala Ali has considered leaving the project. Marvel Studios' Kevin Feige is making changes to projects that aren't progressing well in response to growing public criticism. One such project is the Blade reboot, featuring Mahershala Ali in the lead role. Despite promising prospects for a 2023 release, the project faced multiple script rewrites, director changes, and even a temporary shutdown. At one point, the story shifted focus on women and life lessons, sidelining Blade, which was seen as a strange decision, given that Mahershala Ali, an Oscar-winning actor, was involved in the project. Amid concerns that Ali might leave due to script issues, Kevin Feige hired Michael Green, the Oscar-nominated writer of Logan, to start all over. The film is now scheduled for a 2025 release and is expected to have a budget of under 100 million marking a departure for Marvel's usually high-spending approach. But Marvel is also facing challenges with the upcoming release of The Marvels, the sequel to Captain Marvel. The film has experienced extended reshoots and it's expected to perform below Marvel's usual standards at the box office. Despite a $250 million budget and Brie Larson reprising her role as Captain Marvel, the film is projected to open with $75 to $80 million. Yikes! $80 million was what Five Nights at Freddy's made on opening weekend, and that film was made with $25 million, that's 10 times less than the Marvels. The film's production was further complicated by riches to fix its storyline, and eyebrows were raised when director Nia Da Costa began working on another project before completing this movie. That never happens. The film release date has been delayed already twice, and a public text screening in Texas received mediocre reviews. Now, another thing that we learned on the expose is that Marvel is considering bringing back the original six Avengers. Sources say there have been talks to bring back the OG Avengers. Yikes! Marvel must truly be in crisis if they are considering this course of action. The sources say this comes as a result of the brand being diluted with bad Disney Plus shows, which we all can agree, right? This would include bringing back Chris Evans, and bringing back also Robert Downey Jr. and Scarlett Johansson, whose characters were killed off in Avengers Endgame. So, as you can imagine, this will not come cheap. So, in conclusion, Marvel Studios is undeniably facing a crisis, with the Marvels projected to underperform at the box office, Jonathan Major's legal troubles complicating the Kang storyline, and talks of bringing back the original Avengers, it is clear, Marvel is dealing with significant challenges. So what do you think is the root cause for all this current crisis? And do you believe they can navigate this crisis and continue to dominate the superhero genre? Or are we witnessing the beginning of a new era for Marvel? Share your thoughts and let's discuss in the comments.